Okay, so onto the next track, slash performance in Nerds uh, Harmony of Hearts. I don't know why, No just sounds it sounds like I'm saying it wrong, right? So if I am saying it wrong, I apologize again for the third time. Uh, this one over here is Dave Environment. So we've done, the whole series has been Dave, right? We just came off the um, uh, the last track. It was a live performance uh, called Black, uh, which is cool. I actually liked the song. I just had my own positions on the song. I think there were certain things that uh, um, I actually wanted to say that I felt might have been a bit reductionist and just needed a little bit more nuance to it. Um, but yeah, other than that, song's cool. I like Dave. I think he's a great rapper. I also liked his uh, song with Jack Holler that I've never heard before, which was two reactions ago. You can go and watch that. This one of you has one I haven't heard before. This is called Dave Environment. Um, this is new. I haven't heard this one before. I haven't heard the Jack Holler one, but the black I have heard before. I explain everything in that video. Just go back one. Um, and yeah, let's get into that, man. For those of you who want to uh, request Harmony of Hearts, you can only request it with Wolf and Magnify. Myself and Alex are at capacity. Uh, we will be dropping quite a lot uh, this week so we can get that down. We'll probably run into March, admittedly. Um, but don't worry, everything will be completely wrapped up before we actually take on anything else or do anything else. So don't stress, your series will be done. Um, but yeah, let's uh, move on, man. Dave, environment, let's see what we got, let's go. What do you think people see when they look at you? Look, you see our gold chains and our flashy cars. I see a lack of self-worth and I see battle scars He has to be with 20 men when he wears jewellery And you see it as gangster, I see it as insecurity Where I'm from, everybody wants to make it out But nobody wants to see somebody make it out It ain't about who came around, but more about who stayed around That is true, I think there is obviously a level of jealousy over there And then afterwards when you actually get out of that community uh, Essentially the reason why you targeted by your own community is because there's this mentality that has permeated throughout the society where it's like you've got you owe me i wonder where that came from i mean we just came off the song black i mean i wonder where that i mean i wonder where that mentality came from where it's like i don't want to see you succeed right because i'm not succeeding you know what i mean and that's where the insecurity comes from where you feel that you have to protect yourself because you've kind of become a target in your own community um, because you've somewhat made it right and not only does people don't want to see you out the people who get out don't really really don't really want to come back in you know what i mean they move to the suburbs do you know what i mean behind the scenes they say god gave us eyes to see you see the video vixens and all their pearly whites but you don't see the dirty nights long days and early flights you see the deals and think all these rappers laughing now but you don't get that if we weren't already we're a target now you see all the groupy girls and think they're heaven sent i see 25 minutes worth of empty sex to tell a lie you don't have to do it <laughs> you don't have to have the empty sex but I get, I get what he's saying. It's almost like it's unhelpable because, you know, it's unavoidable in the sense that uh, women are now, uh, they see you for money, essentially. So they actually, they see you for money. So at the end of the day, it's not that they actually love you. It's because, you know, they see money. They, they place, you know, they place a, a monetary worth on you as opposed to like a spiritual worth on you, essentially, right? I see 25 minutes worth of empty sex to tell a lie It wasn't my intention to objectify But I can testify I've seen some shit you couldn't rectify You see this industry where everybody came up I see a bag of weird rappers and some fake love Fake handshakes and fake spuds with fake comments Where everybody covers costs but never pays homage it seems I like the fact that he's calling this out I like the fact that he's calling this out Because this over here is a big is a a big part of um the, the the problem and not only in like black communities it's actually in society as a whole the whole of society is actually fake everything you see around you is fake all right your movements are fake your uh, um, uh, um politicians are fake your money's current your money is fake your currencies are fake wall street's fake communities have become fake social media has literally turned everybody um so plastic and um uh, uh, uh plastic and and just uh, i'm trying to find a better word for it but like it, it, so superficial essentially that's what i wanted to say it's like plastic and superficial everybody has become superficial so you never know there's no genuine anything anymore because everybody's playing to an ideology and most 
certainly a more secular ideology that's seen as progressive today, uh, which is absolutely just wrecking people and their virtues and their morals, and it's uprooting them from anything that's sort of grounded in purpose and meaning. So, yes, I mean, I like that he's saying this because, it, and it's not, it's not just the people he's speaking of. It's not about his community. It's every fucking community that has become fucking fake. Society as a whole has become fake, so it's very important. But never pays homage. The scene turn on me. People trying to ruin me. Where most would see a problem, I'm seeing an opportunity to drop a freestyle and kill them niggas that were burned. That's the fucking mentality I was looking for in his last thing, Black. That's what I. This is what. This is what children in the in the hoods need to hear. The, this fucking line right here, this over here, where, where most would see a problem, you must see an opportunity. That's the line you want to give to children. That's the line. And when their fucking heroes are hearing, and when their heroes are saying something like that, that adds fire. Not, you're a victim, systems against you. That doesn't add anything to their lives. This adds to their lives. Where you see a problem... Where I see a problem, I see an opportunity. Where everybody else sees a problem, I see an opportunity. That's a fucking winning mentality. That's the winning mentality. That's the message that needs to permeate through uh, um, um, these communities. Anyway, I like that line. Uh, as it was evident, I'm sure. He style and kill them niggas that were booing me. I made my haters watch and put the screw inside of scrutiny beautifully. Also, if I am attending, security's coming first. Like I was trying to shop at duty free. Where the fuck's the unity? Where I come from, there's no class. Forget truancy. We have got now in common. Them niggas see a molehill and make a mountain from it. They see a Cuban and a whip. I see a house deposit. How I like that. I like that line over there. They see a molehill and make a mountain of it. And you see that a lot of the time. It's like, okay, so he said something. So fucking what? Is it? Is it worth someone's fucking life? Is it worth killing someone for a statement? Can you not ever just walk away from it? Ever? It has to be a statement that then divulges into a fucking... Uh, um, uh, into a diss track that then uh, uh, then uh, um, uh, sort of carries on into some physical action where they get shot up. Seriously, is that life's not worth fucking anything? Life's not worth anything. It's a very good, very good uh, um, thing that he's pop, that he's um, highlighting over here. Very cool. I see a Cuban and a whip. I see a house deposit. How to stop it? Niggas saw keys and went to trial for shot it. I saw keys, learned to play and made thousands from it. You see the club mm, popping. The see, oh my god, that's fucking fire. That's a bar. <coughs> bar. <coughs> they see keys, but I saw keys. I actually, I actually, they see a very sort of base level, shallow value of everything. And I saw it. This is the whole fishing rod. Give the man a fish. Uh, uh, um, uh, and he'll eat for a day, give a man a fishing rod, and he'll feed himself for the rest of life. That's basically what he's saying over here, right? I saw the value in my ability. I saw the value in my uh, uh, um, talent, right? And I worked towards it, right? I saw keys, and I went and learned to play and made thousands from it. Do you know what I mean? That's the mentality. That over there, these kind of, some of these lines could have slipped into his black, uh, uh, um, performance over there you know what I mean where they, you're just propping people up saying that you're innately talented right and all you gotta do is all you gotta do is just work towards that work toward anything is possible if you put your fucking mindset to it do you what, like you can't be beaten down that easy because you're strong because you're powerful and because you're black and because you're resilient that's the message you want to say. That's the message you want to give black children because they are that. Do you know what I mean? But they've never been given that in terms of like, you fucking, you not. I understand what happened. I understand things are tough. I understand the history, but you're not a fucking victim. You are, have your own critical thinking. You have your own thoughts. You don't need to think like the collective. You can be, and the, and, and, and the proof is in the pudding. Those that didn't think like the collective made it out. Those that actually said, I'm going to do this. Dave Chappelle, uh, 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 fuck, Jesus, you can name all of them. 
Right, Dave Chappelle, Denzel Washington, Martin Luther King, Kobe Bryant, uh, Michael Jordan, Sha uh, Shaquille O'Neal, fuck me, that guy's a billionaire, uh, all these guys, Jay-Z, Beyonce, blah, there's just a plethora of them. A plethora. Right? What, do you want to tell me all of them are outliers? All of them are outliers? Right? The system, uh, they just, they were just so special that they all managed to beat the system. But you can't. It's just not the mentality you want to be giving to young black kids. You want to give the mentality to young black kids that you are fucking great despite what anybody fucking says. And you can do whatever you want to do if you put your fucking mind to it. You see the club popping when we do the show, but you don't see the studio. My life is not a movie, bro. Champagne bottles and all the screaming girls. It's ironic how you will never hear a scream for help, fucking hell Why do you think we're going through the same thing? Depression when you make it, the pressure and the hatred Your people talk about you, you can't say shit The moment that you ain't it, the lame Oh, that's just, that's just fame, Dave Unfortunately, that is, it comes with the territory Do you know what I mean? I mean, and that's not just you That's if, that's fucking everybody Regardless of fucking colour or anything Now I'm not saying that you, you're trying to pin this on colour But that's fame, buddy like it's you know you, that that comes with the heat essentially of being famous. You're gonna get fucking hated. You're gonna have to say have people talking shit. You're gonna get targeted. That's part of being famous. That's just it is what it is. Hatred. Your people talk about you. You can't say shit. The moment that you ain't it, the labels are looking for replacements. Same shit. People start forgetting what you've done for them. Everyone in music's gonna take until there's nothing left Your fans are switching up on you And they don't know how tough it gets Reading through your old comments Trying to feel some love again I see karma Go to work but God schemes harder I heard success can come quickly But it leads faster Secrets Yes, it does Because the tallest trees fall the hardest That's always how it's been Always That is literally just life That is existence That's life, unfortunately you work fucking hard to get what you what you uh, um, uh, what you attain, and you can lose it in fucking minutes with one wrong decision, right? Or if you don't watch your back in one way, unfortunately, that is just human nature. There's nothing. It's been like that for fucking centuries. It'll be like that for centuries more, because unfortunately, we are infallible people. Unfortunately, we are fallen souls. And unfortunately, there is an element of greed that, that runs through society that everyone's going to try and step on your toes and step on your turf and specifically when you're wealthier. And if you don't watch that, you can lose it in a, a, a second. And if you fucking kind of lose your head and you get egotistical and too arrogant, right, and you don't appreciate what you have, you'll lose it even faster because the tallest trees fall the hardest, right? The weather up there is a lot, is a lot harsher than the weather down here. Right? And when it catches you up there, it's going to fucking take you down and rip your fucking roots out again. And you're going to have to re-fucking plant those roots yet again from the fucking beginning. That is part of life, unfortunately. It is what it is. It's human nature. Faster secrets of what my enemies have been after. Only L's I'm hiding in my closet have a V after. <sighs> Fuck. Oh, that was a fucking, that was a good bar. That was a good fucking bar. All the owls um, that are lighting on my closet have a V after. Fucking bar! So all the losses, it's like it's all because it's, that's all monetary. Louis Vuitton, LV, right? Fire, bro. Because it's like I focused on the wrong thing. I focused on the monetary stuff. Do you know what I mean? And that, in turn, is a loss. Come on, bro. Fire! What a fucking lot! So looking at it from another perspective, playing devil's advocate, considering you know you're obviously becoming famous, so to speak, but you still deal with a lot of issues on a human level, do you ever just sit and wonder about the stories behind the people you meet day by day? Does it make you feel grateful in a weird way for your life and problems? That's a very important question over there. Right? Gratitude's a big fucking thing. Gratitude's a big fucking thing, which is odd because if you juxtapose this to his uh, uh, song Black, 
like you said a lot of really important things in his song black but it sounded very a lot more victim like where this song over here sounded a lot more accountable right which is which is nice because this song over here is something that the youth can listen to and aspire to be something like dave do you know what i mean that's what changes that's what places the fire underneath them to change to make real change right as opposed to the victim currency that everyone is so used to i like this look i like dave i really do i think his music is fantastic i disagree with some stuff i try to add a bit more nuance and whatever else but this is all for fucking discussion at the end of the day do you know what i mean and if you can handle it good if you can't handle it then fuck i mean it is what it is i mean the society we have today no one can handle shit anymore no one can have a position without everybody melting into a puddle of fucking tears do you know what i mean over everything we can agree to disagree i love you all stay safe i'll catch you in the next one Thank <laughs> you.